But Katie Schumacher, colleague, Penn State's head coach, even said, you know what? They kicked our butt last year. We want to get one back on them to open up Big Ten play. Here we go. Big Ten play off and rolling from Holloway Gym. With Julia Kane serving in rotation one. And Hudson kept it alive, but Mercik the first to score for Penn State. We opened up the show. Sharp shots. One of those to open up the night. Chloe Chacoin goes off speed to open up her night for Purdue. And Taylor Anderson going right back to her. And she did not get a touch there. She thought she did. Ball to the middle. An absolute rocket from Raven Colvin. Hello. Pull it on that floor. The ball go down or did she get off the ground fast? There, there might be a dent on the floor from that swing. There's Dura Vicious. Heavy arm on that right side that Penn State added this year. One thing about Jura Vicious is you won't see a ton of off speed from her. Uh, early crowd quieter for Jura Vicious. And with that big rip. And the start goes to that pin again, this time on the slide. She connects with Mendelssohn. Say that, you know, we, we feel like we owe Purdue one a little bit tonight. Fired up. 12 4 2 start after Raven Colvin finds the floor again. There's more of that middle out. As a setter myself, that's one of my favorite things to see. One of the real interesting parts of this matchup is that balance when you have four outstanding outside hitters. The setter can get involved too. In Creighton, in the top 15 teams in the final non conference weekend. Said he felt good overall about where they are, and Cam Hanna destroys that ball down the line. Like that, she has the upper hand as the hitter, and she just found a way to bounce that ball. And right back to Colvin, who goes off speed for Purdue. Back row, Merzik finds a seam. This is just back and forth bounces, bounces, bounces. That, but here she is in the back row, too. She does it all. Penn State felt like they owed Louisville one earlier in the year and started fast. Sections of the court, the right side of the court is being used, the middle of the court is being used, out of the back row even. It's, it's really impressive, especially as a freshman. And another kill for Mendelssohn, that's her second. Mac, to your point about that balance. Penn State is making it really hard for the Purdue defense to scheme any sort of way. It's, it's really difficult when you have hitters that are all scoring to find a way to create a blocking scheme or even scout that coming into the game. And Purdue has their first kill outside of Raven Colvin. It's Eva Hudson. Eva Hudson using that toolbox at Izzy Stark, who maybe is a little bit undersized compared to the height of the Penn State blockers. Great vision from Hudson for her first of the night, stopping the Penn State run. And right back to her through the double block. Dug by Merzik in the back. Hannah, another whistler. Oh, the ball is popping off her hand tonight. Kim Hannah is going to put a dent in the floor outing position, but she's a little bit shorter when we think about the Purdue players. And they're able to just set up a... Kim Hannah is able to just jump over top and find the floor every single time. That was point to block party. Neither. Fans in the student section are usually worth a couple of points a match at least. Jess Mercer keeps them quiet on a 10-4 Penn State. When they have two hitters in front when Izzy Stark is up front. A long set to the pin and that was sealed off. A block for Penn State. Color Trammell is up and over. That is one of the keys of blocking. How over the net can you be? Not necessarily how high, but how over. Service pressure from Penn State is there. So multiple parts of Penn State's game shown out early in the Big Ten opener. Also going to win a lot of games. You can do both. We're looking good. Is he Stark back-to-back -back serves that score points for Penn State? That should be a stat in the end. Teams aren't able to create a swing or just send you a free ball. Call it the chaos meter. I like it. Well, Hudson had to adjust to that. Stark scrambling up to cover. Couldn't quite get there. Fence off guard. It was a really smart high IQ play by her. Two kills for Hudson. And a 
third for Cam Hanna. Cam Hanna's played on the right side quite a bit in her great side. She knows what to do. She sees the block well from over there. So it's a good move by Coach Schumacher Colley to leave her over there for that rotation. And a little heavy on that service for Hanna. Fun. She's always got a big smile on her face, too. Whether she's playing well or not, she keeps it light. It's fun. It's a breath of fresh air. There's Trammell, who always plays back. And she was able to turn it cross body and hit the right back seam. The back row defense wasn't quite ready. Chicoin in serve receive and on the attack. And Stark kept it up. Merzik out of system, finds a way to score. Cool to see. No, I do not. Washington's the only one left, right? In, in conference play, I mean. Oh, uh, most definitely not. No. Most definitely not. Too much beating up on each other. Well, off hands, the balance continues for Penn State. Izzy Stark is doing a really impressive job running this offense right now. As a setter myself, I'm very impressed by her. Well, Hudson stumbled a little bit, up a little bit ginger on her foot. And Shaquoin's swing goes out. So a little bit awkward for Eva Hudson. Grabbing the lower part of her right leg. Yeah, I think that the... Oh, it looks like she rolled her ankle right there. I think that Purdue, Purdue offense and defense and serve receive, their whole play kind of just needs to settle in a little bit, figure out their mojo, kind of figure out what their game plan is. A little more slowly than we're used to seeing. Stays in there. She took the first ball here. The roll picked up by Shacoin. Bullard on the right. It rattles around and short of the net. How do oh, but you can't expect it. Volleyball is a game of errors. Errors are going to happen. Mistakes are going to come. So you kind of just got to let those go. Roll them off your back and move on to the next thing. And Ryan McAleer's serve is out. Put that serve in the court. Over and in, give your team the opportunity to play some defense. So Dave Shondell's patented aggression. The service line takes a back seat in that spot, right? Yes, I would have to say so. The Chicoin with a tool shot kill. She's going to use her outside hand. Slide Mendelssohn, and Grimes had a good read on it. Doesn't look like it's their first year working together. Mm -mm. Maggie Mendelssohn's loving the slide right now. Anything behind is kind of her bread and butter, so... They're working well on that. She wanted it again, instead went to Hannah. And that's been money in this first set. Oh, really hard. She gets going up and swinging as hard as she can. She's getting some tools up there. That's impressive. Another another tough ball to tool against Raven Colvin. Shacoin puts it down from the back row. Long way to go for Stark to set that. Found Merzik. There's Hudson. Ooh, almost put away. Well done by Colvin to keep that up. Off the dump from Stark. Hudson, second swing, goes through. But usually it's her block that her teammates are covering. Raven Colvin. And up to the pin again for Mendelssohn, and Lucia Coyne went crashing down. And Hudson with back-to-back -back kills for Purdue. T over top. Ooh, Cam Hanna. SD straight down. Another dent on and almost hit cross court from the line. Hanna with five kills, match high in this first and six swings. Here's Lourdes Myers for the first time for the Boilermakers. Last match of non-conference, Myers hit 625 with six kills. Three-set win against Tulsa. Stark rescues it. Free ball for Purdue. And it's Myers. Back-to-back -back kills. Jill Grimes should go. The right-back defender goes. Everybody goes. Oh, up quick. Trammell, but out. And Stark's trying to force that really fast and really low. I think she could get her up a little bit higher and give her the ability to swing and reach a little more. Kind of force could, uh, could, could be looking out for and just get her reaching a little bit more. She touches so high. And set point one. 
for Penn State. Hannah rattles it, and everything is going down for Cam Hannah in West Lafayette tonight. 